You and I have talked about the net worths of a lot of political leaders, and um, a lot of the times their marriages impact their fortunes. We know that she's engaged, so is there any indication of how much her partner is worth? So members of Congress do not have to report uh, non-married partners, um, which is, you know, in this case describes her fiance, Riley Roberts. Uh, they don't have to report them on their disclosures or their assets. And so because of that, we don't really have a great sense of things. Um, Riley's kind of a black box in this, uh, in this whole situation. But, um, you know, he's been working in tech for years and years now. Uh, the, you know, our best guess is that he probably has some savings, but until they are married and they've been engaged for over two years, so I assume the wedding's coming at some point, uh, you know, uh, once they're married, we'll get a better sense of exactly how much um, he's making and how much he's saved up over the years. I am curious about how much her fortune stacks up to other members of Congress. So we haven't done valuations of every member of Congress. We're only getting started here. But uh, I would say that her, her you know, amount, the, excuse me, her assets are uh, significantly lower than the average member of Congress. But I think it's notable uh, here, the average member of Congress is a lot older than Ocasio-Cortez. Um, you know, she's only 34 years old and the average member of Congress is well into their 50s. So they've had many more years to sort of put money away in savings and in retirement accounts and that kind of thing. Um, she also doesn't own any real estate. A lot of members of Congress own a house, um, but she lives in sort of two areas of the country where it's much more common to rent, New York and DC. So um, there's a lot of things that are kind of working against her in this case in terms of actually building wealth uh, in comparison to other members of Congress. That said, she's in a very safe blue district, assuming that she stays in Congress for you know decades to come as she potentially could. Um, you know she's going to have plenty of time to put money away in that thrift savings account, plenty of time to put money away uh, in savings accounts, um, and maybe eventually buy some real estate that can grow as well.